hi guys so I know I showed you the preview of some of the or excuse me organization <laughs> that um, I plan on doing in my house and I didn't plan to start on the kitchen um, but because I'm in the kitchen so much I think it just naturally happened that I did the kitchen first uh, so I'm gonna walk you through um, some of the drawers and what they look like now you guys of course saw the before again don't come at me don't judge me we all have our messy drawers we are closet messy drawer people and if you're not more power to you um, I don't know what that's like and I don't know what life that is um, but anyways so I showed you the before I took some videos um, and I'll show you in just a little bit here how I did the drawers, how I organized them, kind of some trial and error to see which containers fit in which drawers best. Um, I obviously moved things around a hundred different times. It did not work the first time. So um, I hope that you like them. <laughs> I started with this large drawer, which used to house just um, a cutting board. <laughs> I was, it was a lot of wasted space, let's be honest. Don't, let me see my croissants over there. Costco got me. Um, anyway, so I decided to move the majority of the larger kitchen utensils, the knives, a lot of the baking things that I use. Shout out to my girl, Timberly, for my Pure One Soup Spoons. Um, but these are all the things that we use all the time. I got rid of some stuff. You'll see that in some of the videos. Um, <clears throat> but um, I did that. I moved the rest of the baking items into here. You can see, like I said, every drawer is a little bit different with which containers controlled what. Um, and contained what, but, oh, this is my little tea section. You guys, if you know me, I don't drink caffeine and the only, uh, beverages that I do like outside of water are tea. And then I drink decaf tea. So these are all my little, you know, my little fancy things here. Uh, moving to the other part of the kitchen. Uh, we are straw fanatics. Um, I use nothing but reusable straws when I'm in public, um, as well. I'm home, excuse me, as well as when I'm at home, I found these awesome, um, thicker ones at Burlington on accident a couple months ago, which are great for my smoothies. I went ahead and pre-cut these smoothie straws for the kids because theirs are just easier if it's um, smaller because their cups are smaller. This is just our drawer central. And I love keeping candles on hand because I never know when I'm going to need to have one to blow it out. Uh, and then I can... A lot of you know this about me um, during the months when my garden is really flowing and I have things that are coming in in bulk from the farmer's market. Not so much right now with COVID, but uh, I have all my canning supplies here. These are, we make homemade popsicles, put some smoothies in there. You can make them adult friendly too, if you'd like. Uh, and then last but not least, oh wait, I have two more drawers. Just kidding. The junk drawer was just that. It was mostly junk. Um, it still is a lot of junk, but at least it's organized. I found 
probably $20 worth of change, which is crazy. The few, you know, tools we keep in the house, all the excess batteries, you know, with kids and toys, you always need batteries, uh, tape always on hand. And then of course the pens last but not least is now where all of our charging information is, um, as well as our markers for our calendars that are on the, the, the refrigerator. Um, but that's it. So yeah, I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, I hope maybe this inspires you to do yours too. So I hope you guys enjoyed the drawer journey that I have been on uh, and the little tour I just took you on. Don't mind all the open cabinets and whatnot, uh, but we are getting ready to renovate the cabinets. So none of the cabinets are on right now. Uh, well, some of them are, but most of them aren't uh, until we can finish getting through that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the organizational aspect. Obviously, there will be a complete before and after uh, when we get to that point and we are complete. So if you liked it, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Love you guys. Have a good one. And don't forget to stay tuned. I am going to work on the kids' rooms next. Um, I've already started a little bit, but I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty, get out the tubs, get out the label maker, and start getting crazy to organize their rooms. Hopefully for what will be the permanency, if you will, um, from a lot of the different cleanups that I've done. So talk to you guys soon. Bye.